is Jug Lines, and uh, this is part four of the web scraping tutorials using Auto Hotkey. And this one we're going to focus on frames, and I'm going to start off right now by apologizing <laughs> because I don't know what I'm doing. All right, I've I've got some tools that I think help. Um, this is one where I'd say I know I'm going to say stuff wrong. I I know there's better ways to do this, but uh, man, whenever you run into these, y you'll see what a headache um, when you try it yourself. That, uh, that they can be, and so I did want to give some um, recommendations on how to tackle them. So I navigated to this W3Schools page which has frames on it, um, and if, in, depending on how much you know about HTML, um, frames or iframes, um, they're, think of them as a, as a page within a page, right? So this, this is actually, this frame A is a page, this is a page, and this is a page, and I'm going to show it to you here in a second. Um, first thing what I do is when I'm trying to grab text or set text on a page and nothing is working uh, it doesn't it's not working like I expect it to uh, I use the uh, the IWB2 learner tool and I'll drag it on here and anytime you see this um, where it says iframe, iframe 1, iframe 2 um, first start crying and 2 is uh, realize you have a much more difficult task ahead of you, uh, because these are really not on, I'm sorry, how do I phrase this correctly, these are these are pages that are, are literally elsewhere, and you try to um, grab it, but unfortunately, even though it looks like it's on this page, it isn't. And, and, and here I can demonstrate this in some way of saying, look, this this page, notice the, the parent structure, normally if you're within something like a, a real page, you can go up and up and up and see how this wraps around. But when I did this one, that parent structure isn't the same, right? And that's because this is actually, I believe, that's because this is actually a page somewhere else. Um, and the, the I, this, this tool, um, you can, you can see that in some way of see how that right there, and it copied it to my clipboard. Let me bring over a site and show you. You know what? Let me make this a little smaller so it fits the screen a little better. There we go. So I'm going to paste that. So that is the URL of this page, and we can also verify that um, by navigating to it, right? So see how this page, it's all on its own? And, and this is one of my actual recommendations of, hey, if if for whatever reason you can navigate to this, this URL instead of the other one, you know, you, what you do is you get that URL, um, you using auto hotkey and then navigate to it and just do your web scraping from this page and things are so so much easier because now look what happens when I when I do this right there's no frames mentioned here and you can you can use all the other methods I showed you before on how to grab this um, and as a review also uh, excuse the the cannon fire there's some thunderstorms going on here um, as a review also I recommend studying this uh, this image from uh, the, I don't even know how to say that website, but uh, you can link to it from the Jethro tutorial. And here, here's part of the reason why also, right? Normally, we've been playing where we come down, we get the current page, we get document, we scroll down document to forms more often than not, and then these are elements off the form that we're grabbing from, right? Um, and sometimes links, I've played with anchors a little on images, but um, this is really under document, this is what we're doing, right? Notice where frames are, right? Frames are up here. So basically what we have to do is we have to navigate through the DOM and go up, go up, and then go over to frames, and after we go to frames, then we can get the, uh, we can go back, and what we're going to do is we're going to see that the document is also under frames for that other window. Once you navigate to that window, then this all becomes the same path again. It's just that you first have to, from one page, go up, go to the frames, and then go back, and then you can start going down it. So, let's start showing you um, some of the tools I've built into my script to help with this. So we can get rid of that. Uh, so, let's see. Oh, the other, I was going to mention this this tool, in case you just want to see it a little easier. This IE HTML Elements by. You can drag uh, and notice right here, so this is actually, there's as the the learner tool or the the IWB tool, this tool uh, uh, shows you, right, that there are multiple frames. There's actually this frame is within this frame on this page, which this is the part I have some problems with because these numbers to me 
are not intuitive and don't make sense. Uh, but, um, and, and notice there's names and ID here. We'll get back to that in a little bit. Um, however, the one thing I do like about this IE HTML Element Spy tool, it's a free program you can download, is that it makes it very easy to see that URL, and here's the parent URL, right? The, both of these are the two frames that I just showed you from the other tool. Uh, it just shows them a little simpler. So here, you can see that one, that one, well, you know what, I didn't notice, let me see. Notice, as I go between these two and this third one, this, the, uh, the ver this frame doesn't change, right? That's because all three of these are subframes of this one, right? So, bam, 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 but you see the URLs from each of these are changing, and that's just a reminder that these are actually different web pages being displayed in this quote-unquote frame, right? All right, so that's a tool. The other tool, which uh, you may or not be used to using, is if you hit F12 and IE, it'll bring up... Oh, that's perfect. Let's see what happens here. Uh, interesting. All right, let's try that again. F12. Um, it brings up... Um, IE has built-in developer tools. And let me see if I can do this right. I can click here and show sections. Um, and now I'm going to click here and you know what let me the one thing I did like about this tool is it made it a little easier to see see these three frames here it's shown you here these are all all three and these are subframes of this one and this frame container uh, but it kind of for me kind of helped me realize also that that, that there are different frames um, within another frame and these are all if I could do it better, I could probably show you how this is all under a different structure than the regular page, but um, I'm not too familiar with this tool. Okay, so getting stuff from this page. So first off, what I do, the second the second that I see that there are these, um, hopefully, like this case, this, this first top frame has a name and an ID, right? Often it doesn't have either, uh, and, and the syntax for that's a little bit different. Uh, but, uh, again, having them named makes it a little easier, more consistent, um, because they will sp usually stay the same. So, in here, I've added under advanced. So, this is if your frames are one level versus multi-level. Right, under under one level, I have the get length of frames. So, here, I'm going to save this, reload it, and run it. And this is telling me, hey, off of the main um, frames, there's five right there's there's actually five uh, at this first level because I just put it right here right uh, and this is what throws me was from from playing with it um, I, I came to find out that this is the second I'm sorry it's the third it's it's from the number it's point two but it, since it's, I believe it starts at zero it's zero one two so it's the third frame um, that's what this one is and then these are all subframes under the second level. However, for the first examples here, we're going to keep it simple. Let me comment this out. And let's say, oh, wrong menu. You know what, let me, I'm going to exit out of that, my other launcher menu, just so I don't confuse myself. Alright. Advanced one, well, we don't want one level, we need multi-level in this case. So frame has a name or ID, yes it does. Okay, so we're going to say that. Um, the name on this first one is view, and here is where I'm going to say this this is the uh, the subframe value, and um, notice I'm grabbing, this is going to get me the URL of it, just so I make sure I understand where I am. So I'm going to save it, reload it, run it, and here is that frame A tag that we saw with the uh, HTML element tool. Um, so I know I'm on the right page there, I'm getting the right one. Now watch what happens if I change this to 1. Right, now it gave me B, and if I change it to 2, because there's 0 index, right, I'm on the third, so A, B, C. Alright, so that shows you you're on the right page um, to make sure you're grabbing, you know, which, which one of these you're on. Um, and then from that, well, um, from that, you can then you can start grabbing the actual text. So, yeah, it's frames multi-level, 
and let's say we're going to get some text. So I'm going to put back in here, view, we'll take the first one. Now, now here, um, oh, it looks like there's, let's see. Whoa, come on. Oh, you know what, let me close the, uh, that is closed. Oh, I know, I'm not at, I'm, I'm, I need to zoom back to, that's the only thing about that, uh, this IWB2 learner tool, you got to be at 100% for it to render correctly. So here's a body, right? So this body tag zero, right? So, um, and that was why I had, I played with this earlier. This is my demo that I use. So I'm going to say, let me grab, it's going to grab the inner text of the body tag zero. After navigating to this first, how do I say that right? To the subframe, and then the very first one of the sub, of the, the second level, so this level. Right, so now I'm going to save it, reload it. So it grabbed this text, right? And I think if we were to say, let's say here, so P0, where it changes to P, and notice it's, and see it, it's verifying it here, right? Here's the inner HTML, note that. Um, and then here's the, you know, in, in the IE, iWeb2 learner tool, Man, that's a difficult name. Uh, we could easily change this to say outer HTML, and it's going to grab that outer part, right? I didn't build that into my script because I don't need to have every. I didn't want to have every permutation and combination of the options. But um, if you're in the advanced, and you're doing frames, you understand that you can change. It just changes for for what you're trying to grab. Okay, so that is when this one, this top one, is named, right? But what happens if it's not named? So um, regardless if it has our name or not, you can still um, not use the name. And so, advanced, multi-level. Now let's say we don't have the name. Let's go ahead and just get the URL to start off with. Right, so here, again, I was using this as my example. So this was the, the, uh, the third frame because this is zero indexed, I believe. And we're going to grab the first window and grab that URL. So this should be the A one, I believe. So I'm going to save it, reload it, launch. Yes, so that's A, we'll change this to 1, B, and just to complete it, and C, right? Um, and then we'll comment that out, and do frames, multi-level, get text, right? Uh, same thing, same as the other example, right? It, you can change the, the tags to make sure you're getting the correct tag you want. Um, filter that down, so P is just going to give us that inner note, right? If there was more than one, obviously you'd be changing this element here. Um, yeah, I, that's it. And then when I, I don't have, well, let's see, when it was, we'll just do one example so it's complete, right? Ooh, don't overwrite my pointer. Um, if you were doing something and there was just one level, Right. All that's going to do is is you can leave out the array version. And I think if I change this to view, it'll still work because it's getting it's getting this URL instead of this one. Right. Um, and just to show you, so this this one is named iframe result. And just to show you, you can use either the name or the ID in that. Uh, and and that is it for dealing with well as far as I know with dealing with frames all, all I know is every time I run into them it's uh it's it's a battle it's a, a lot of trial and error um, often what I do is I will get the length of the frames and when I see in this case it was five right is then I start iterating through each frame, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, trying to look for the, the main body text. And once I figure that out, I can navigate it. I get, like I said, these numbers to me confuse me. They don't represent, I, I've tried playing with them, and they don't actually, um, the dot one and dot two don't line up with anything that makes sense to me, at least. And uh, understanding what's under them. So so again, the other thing I try and do is if I can navigate to like if look if I click here, it just gave me that URL and if I can if I can instead navigate to the actual page 
instead of do it within the frame, that is absolutely what I do. Uh, it's much, much easier to, to handle. Thanks.